this is not the news that I wanted to be reporting. And let's not get too far gone and outraged or upset or worried just yet about the Alexander Isaac story. I'm here at Honeypot Creative filming a different video and about to jump up and use their offices to film this breaking news. Great spot this, by the way, in town, but more on that will come in a different video. I've been filming some different exciting stories today in here and it's a great little spot honeypot creative so shout out to them for letting us use their room which is very well appropriated for my videos with brown ale frames in the background shame there's actually no brown ale to drink could do with a little fridge in the corner to digest this news the sun is shining but the news isn't very sunny or happy really because it's been reported by the daily mail craig hope exclusive that chelsea are in talks to sign Alexander Isak. They have made an inquiry for the Swedish striker and talks, conversations have taken place between both clubs <sighs> and talks between both clubs are ongoing. I have to just breathe that in deeply to be fair because this is all breaking. I'm reacting to this pretty much live to be fair. I've just read it, just posted about it on our social media and I'm just saying it off the top of my head now as I think, as I go because this is my instant reaction to that news, and it's absolutely stinking, that news. Uh, obviously, obviously to go forward, Newcastle United don't want to lose their star players. Bruno's released close, and his contract expired yesterday, so that was good news. No longer can he leave for £100 million. Doesn't say that he can't leave anymore, just means that we're in control of that fee, of that transfer a bit more than if a man City had a came in Bid at 100, he can then go, he can then go talk to them. Uh, with Isaac, he hasn't got a release clause. We paid £63 million for him. There was reports recently saying that he was on the verge of a Green New Deal. Everything was going swimmingly. All these in the nose on Twitter and all that, again, just never, ever believe them. Because they're saying, oh, it's done. I know that it's done. My source says that's done. It's never done. Never, ever done. The contract... I was here on good things as well, so it looked like it was going to be done, but then if Chelsea come in for you, phew. to be fair, Chelsea come in for him, I don't think there was an interesting proposition as the once were. They're playing Conference League football. He's actually just played Champions League with Newcastle. He can wait another season and hopefully get back in the Champions League. The thing is with Chelsea, obviously, let's be real, they are a bigger club than us at the moment because they have had a way more successful the last 20, 30 years than us. Roman Abramovich went in there Spent money like there was no the matter when there was no financial fair play issues, no PSR back when Roman took over the bridge. Yeah, Roman Emperor could do what he wanted, and that's what he did do. Spent huge amounts of cash, mad wages, mad transfer fees, brought in everyone possible, brought in Jose Mourinho in his prime, and won the lot. And even now, though, in recent years, they've still won trophies. They got to a Carabao Cup final last year, lost. However, obviously, in recent times, it hasn't been that long since they won the Champions League. Hasn't been more than a few years, really, since they won the Premier League. Well, I don't know what it is, several years. But you know what I mean? They're always in and amongst it. They are a huge club around the world. They are in that lovely posh area of London, so it's a nice place to live for the footballers. That's why the Caicedos and the Enzo Fernandezes and all that chose to go there over other teams they were linked to. Remember, Caicedo originally agreed to join Liverpool, jump ship when Chelsea came in. They like it. You know, that lifestyle of being in London, the fancy streets, the fancy shops. All the, 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 you know, the wags want to be there, the world-class models to be there with the world-class players. But Chelsea have been a mess lately, and they still are. Todd Bowley hasn't got a clue what he's doing. He's sacked Pochettino. He's brought in Leicester's manager, who's never managed in the Premier League before. We well, can't judge him yet. We don't know how that's going to play out. He might be brilliant. He might not. We'll wait and see, but how long will he get? You know what I mean? The way they chop and change their managers, that hasn't changed from the room around which days to the Todd Bowley days. So... There's uncertainty there for, for me, for Chelsea. I'd get it if this was the Chelsea of a few years ago. Isaac would want to leave. But what they can do is probably offer Isaac a quicker route to trophies and probably a quicker route to Europe again. Um, and what they can do is offer him more money. I say a quicker route to Europe. That's Conference League this year. I have no doubt that we could finish above Chelsea next season, to be honest with you. I think a couple of signs in the window <laughs> and not lose the likes of Isaac and Bruno, we could get top four, top five. I really do believe that next year, um, with one game a week. And Eddie Howe working his magic again, hopefully. But they can offer him conference league, is that great? No, but obviously the, 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 they've still got a great squad of players there at Chelsea, really. Now, I mentioned Enzo, Caicedo. But at the point of the article, though, they're saying that talks are still ongoing between both clubs. Conversations have taken place. Chelsea want Isaac. It would take a club record fee 
from Chelsea to sign him. They obviously paid 150 million for Moises Caicedo. 150 million. So if he's worth 115, I'm wanting a 150 minimum for Alexander Isak. I'm wanting 150 because this bloke, oh, I'd be absolutely good. You know, I'm just thinking in now. I try to bypass it and just talk about Chelsea, but when I'm thinking about it, I'm going to be absolutely devastated if we lose Isak. The, the best strike I've ever seen up play at Newcastle since she are obviously. But all round, man, all round, what a player, what a talent. He's got a lot. We know it. He's Premier League proven now. Banging goals for fun. What was he third, fourth highest scorer last year? Even with missing quite a few games with injury, so it would be an absolute nightmare to lose him. He's still so young, early twenties. Best years ahead of him, which is scary to think, considering where he's at already. To the numbers he got last year in an injury-stricken Newcastle team is mental, man. We wanted to build our future around Isaac, Bruno, Botman. That's the Spain of the team. Gordon on the left. Improve that right wing this summer. And then we're laughing. Tonani comes back in the midfield with Bruno and Julian. Yeah, that team is class. Honestly, class. I think he's the best straight in the league. I think he's one of the best strikers in the world. I got laughed at that for saying that two years ago. But it's came, in true. it's came true now, really. It is coming true, that statement for me, because I look around, who's better? Holland isn't a better striker than me. Than me. Isn't a better striker than Isaac. Yes, he scores a lot of goals, misses a lot of chances, doesn't have the build-up play that Isaac has, doesn't have the running that Isaac has, doesn't stretch the fences, doesn't have the skill, the, the, the pace. I think Isaac's a better striker. I genuinely think he's one of the best in the world. Really, really do. And we've got him at our club. We're so lucky to have him. To lose him would just be absolutely gutting. Absolutely gutting. Terrible news, that like. So, Chelsea are, are slightly confident of being able to get him. Newcastle in the PSR world. Darren Eels has said it. Every player's got the price. If Chelsea do come in with 125, 130, 150, whatever, we we'll probably will sell. Like, I think we we'll probably will sell and it'll be... Oh, it'll be absolutely awful that like because then you've got to go and replace him fucking Calvert-Lewin obviously would have more money to spend than a Calvert-Lewin but you know the thought you cannot replace Isaac because that's why Chelsea won him they're looking around Europe who, who else is the realist that you get that's great Sheshko signed a new deal at uh, Leipzig there everyone was after him you know Kane went to Germany Bayern Munich you look around who you got Boniface at Leverkusen uh, Victor Osman's always branded about at Napoli I think he's a bit overrated and they want 100 million for him so Isaac should demand a huge fee really you know what I mean so it's good and like it's bad worrying news you hope that maybe the club come out don't sell him keep the star man Isaac signs a new deal can we persuade Isaac to stay and say listen Alex give her a couple more years believe in the project look at what we did last year cup final top four give us another year or two see how we get on next season can we get Champions League again? Can we push for a cup again? Which I believe we can. And I think we will do both next year. Depending on what happens in the transfer window, obviously. But um, if we can persuade him to stay, sign a new deal and then say, right, tell you what, Isaac. And this is what you've got to do at, the, at these levels. Tell you what, Alex. Sign a new deal. We'll, we'll give you a pay rise. Yeah, we'll make you the highest earner at the club, which was meant to be rumoured anyways. And then next summer, if we haven't got Champions League, you can go. He has a release clause of one, one, two, five, one thirty to to give him a bit of persuasion. He has a release clause, available from next summer. If we don't get top four, please give another year. Believe in the project, stay in the tune, Alex. These fans worship you. They won't at Chelsea. They'll turn on you straight away. <laughs> and uh, give Eddie Howe and the lads a chance. We brought you to England. We risked £63 million on you. That was our record signing. A lot of people at the time were thinking, bloody hell, that's a lot of money. He did, we did have potential, but his goal scoring record wasn't phenomenal. People are seeing all these injury prone, which we've seen at times. So people might be like, oh, let's cash in. Look at what can we do with FFP with, with 120, 30 million for Isaac? How far will that get us? You know, I mean, we could totally change our squad with that because it's amortized. So you, you get triple that fee, really. So that would give you upwards of 300 million. So you could sign three or four players with that, really. Well, in today's market, just about top class players at 40, 50 million each, maybe a bit more. So I don't know, it's a lot for the club to think about. Me, I don't care, I can't lose Isaac. He's an absolute star. Just said it, one of the best strikers in the world. I need him to stay. And that is devastating that Chelsea are in talks to sign him, according to the mail. It's probably came out now on Warmshire Sky and everyone will get on it. Uh, you know, Craig Hope's normally decent with this sort of thing. So I reckon it's true. It's looking that way. All the Chelsea side of things are reporting it now as well. So it looks legit. It's concerning. 
any updates, we'll bring them here on the Magpie channel. So stay subscribed. Hit that like button as well. Hit the bell to get notified of any new videos. You can tell I'm a bit downbeat, people. Just to receive this news. The thought of Isaac leaving is uh, shaking on my sunny Wednesday. Anyways, drop your thoughts in the comments. What do you think will happen? And what would you do with an offer of 120 million plus for Isaac? Cheers, people. See you soon.